Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Boshat VR300 regulator. So this is a great all-rounder of a regulator, something that you can dive in cold waters, but you can also travel abroad with it, obviously. Um, but it's a good solid regulator. Uh, you've got a lightweight second stage that's gonna help reduce jaw fatigue. You've got a decent first stage that has the uh, good amount of hose routing opportunities on there reliable rubber hose in the middle, everything that you can need in a regulator. Let's see how it arrives at your front door. So this is how it arrives. Uh, full disclosure, this is a um, like a demonstration model. Uh, so the box is a little bit torn, um, but the regulator on the inside is uh, sort of pretty fresh out of the, uh, the factory. Um, cardboard box, pretty traditional for a, a regulator. Um, nothing overly fancy on the outside. You've got little QR barcodes that will take you to the, uh, the Boshat website. And then inside, you have the regulator itself coiled up all nice and neatly. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that in a second. Uh, you also have sort of warranty information, um, individual control certificate, um, the, the usual paperwork that you get with um, uh, with regulators and another QR barcode uh, with their little Marlin logo on the inside, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, onto the regulator itself. So as far as weight goes, pretty standard. Um, most of the weight, of course, is in the first stage, but yeah, that's pretty uh, sort of, straight down the middle as far as regulated weight goes i'll be happy traveling with it um, but cold water rated as well so you can dive it at home starting off with the uh, the first stage uh pretty compact um it's uh, it's got a decent weight to it and it is cold water rated but you've got everything that you need on it you've got four low pressure ports and these are all angled um so instead of being parallel and then your hose is ending up bunching up they're angled out at different angles just makes hose routing a bit neater um, two high pressure ports four low pressure ports this is the, the din version uh, so you get an integrated dust cap that's attached onto the primary hose and 300 bar din valve on that hose protector protecting your hose the hose itself is a traditional rubber hose trustworthy uh, it does what it needs to it stays exactly where you want it to it's nice and smooth as well so if you're diving in warmer climates uh, it's not going to be scratching against your neck or anything and then when we get up to the second stage uh, if I just remove this um, sort of hygiene plastic bag over the mouthpiece so you can see it <clears throat> So as soon as the gas comes into the second stage, it's met by this big heat sink. What this is doing is it's basically increasing the surface area to volume ratio. And as the gas is coming in, it's gonna make the valve, which is just in this section here, colder. In colder waters, coldness and water makes ice. You don't want that. So you have this heat sink instead, and that's basically absorbing heat from the surrounding waters to help prevent that valve from freezing. The second stage itself is incredibly light. Um, this, this plastic that they've used, incredibly light. So that's gonna make uh, longer dives much more comfortable. You're not gonna get jaw fatigue where you have to hold on to the, uh, the second stage because it's so heavy, you have to bite down. Because it's so light, you don't have to bite down quite as much. So that's reducing jaw fatigue, especially for longer dives. Purge button on the front, this is a semi-rigid. Um, it feels like there's a bit of a, a solid plate underneath that, but the rest of the material is flexible. Um, decent uh, sort of resistance on that, and it's a decent size as well. So if you've got clunky gloves, uh, you can push on that really easily. The only adjustment that you have on this second stage is a Venturi adjustment. Uh, so that's an either on or off. What that does is it redirects the airflow on the inside of the second stage. So as the, the valve begins to free flow, when it's set to the sort of on mode, it redirects the airflow back towards the front, the, uh, the purge button behind the purge button, and it interrupts that free flow. But then when the regulator's in your mouth, turn it off and then you get a nice smooth airflow. And this does deliver a nice smooth breathe and um, very reliable as well. You do notice an ever so slight change when you uh, turn the Venturi switch on, but you can still breathe from it perfectly comfortably. Mouthpiece itself, pretty standard, nothing overly fancy. Uh, it's just a, a silicone mouthpiece, but um, 
but yeah, it is not too long neither. Some mouthpieces can get quite long and just go right back to your molars. Um, but otherwise, yeah, perfectly comfortable. The exhaust tee, pretty compact, so it's not gonna get in the way, um, but you do have these uh, little fins uh, in there that are gonna help deflect the bubbles and direct them a little bit further behind you. And that's the Boshat VR300 regulator, uh, a very solid, like all arounder, that kind of workhorse of a regulator. You attach it onto a cylinder and it just, it just works. Uh, not too many fiddly bits on it. Uh, it's just got that Venturi, because um, if you don't want to use all those kind of fiddly bits, then why bother? Um, but yeah, a good solid regulator, decent breathe on it as well, which is really the most important thing. Um, Boshat have been around for a long, long time, so they definitely know what they're doing when it comes to regulators. Definitely worth taking a look at. There's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link down in the description below, so you can click on that. Head over to simplyscuba.com and check it out and even buy it from us. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Mm -hmm.